Hey, hey. hey. Look at that. Hey. Look at this hey. guy. Look at this vato. Hey, Essay. Essay. <laughs> Paso. Uh, number 49. Number 49, boys. Closing in on a big 5 over. Yeah. We have the big nothing next time. That's right. We'll just let 50 sneak by. Kind of like our birthdays. Yeah. Just sweep them away yeah. real quick like. Yeah. How is everybody out there? Good. I assume. I assuming. Assuming. Yeah. Assuming everyone's good. Blaylock, yeah. like, how are you? I'm grand. You are grand. You are grand. Yeah. Yes, champion. Yes, you are. Yeah. He's champion. Champion. <laughs> like the uh, Calizuela get up there. Got some. Some brown and bubbly on. I'm good. <laughs> brown and bubbly. That doesn't even sound good. Sounds like Cola Guard. Ah. <laughs> Refreshing. No. We, ain't, we ain't going down there. Don't go there, there again. again. No, you killed me with no. the last one. We, we ain't going down, you down there. just destroyed my entire freaking <laughs> yeah. vibe. That might, our last one, going. Though, that might have been the best one ever. Oh, my that's God. Why we had it could take possibly a, be. That's why we had to take a week off. We, we just couldn't, re, <laughs> couldn't recover. From that, you made those poor people yeah. watch it twice. Yeah, man, <laughs> yes. and I can't believe they did. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. probably can't either. Yeah, twice is nice. <laughs> oh, thrice well, is bad. Let's get this what thing going. Hey, let's roll. Let's some, roll some. Somebody bring it in. Roll it. Yes. <laughs> I did it this time. I did the hey hey. Right on. We got lots of lots of good stuff going on. We do. Lots and lots going on. Who is our guest this week? Eddie. Eddie K. Eddie, Eddie Kilgallen. Eddie Kilgallen. You know him from he was one of the Seminole members. How about that? Seminole. Seminole. Yes. Very nice. Not Seminole win. He's probably had a few. He probably had a few. Yeah. But one of the seminal members of Ricochet. Yes. Remember da- Daddy's Money? And, yes. Uh, man, their first single, What Do I Know? Do you guys remember that one? Hey, hey, what do I yeah, know? Yeah, that was, that was probably their best song. I agree. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk to them about that. I'm going to go, it, yeah. was all, it was all downhill after that, guys. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. The first yeah. single was your best. First one was the they best. They got their taste to stardom and then got lazy. <laughs> I figure there's more, lot, there's lots more where that came from. Yeah, <laughs> man. Well, Eddie's a great producer, great musician. He's the band leader, tour manager now for Eddie Montgomery and them boys. All right, and, and a heck of a songwriter. Heck of a songwriter. Yeah, he's got a couple of our tunes. Yes, he does. And we'll talk about those yes, we when, shall. when we, we shall. have him on. But for right now, I'd like to talk about Sleep Centers of Middle Tennessee. Sleep centers. Yes. Oh. How do C- we? CPAP. I'm, I'm in CPAP land. Boy, like, I don't know if I told you, my life has changed. Well, was, you were bound to come out sooner or later. Yeah. My life. <laughs> Not CPUP. CPAP. Oh. Not KC. <laughs> Sorry. One letter off. My mistake. Must be your accent. Puppy style. <laughs> Puppy chow. Okay. And just like that, there just goes like the that, show. Off the rails. <laughs> no, I've guess if anybody out there is, cons- you know, if you've got sleep apnea, you know, if I have a little product here, I can show it. If you, <laughs> you should. The way, as far as these guys have come now, I mean, this thing is whisper quiet. It's comfortable. I almost want to wear it twenty four seven. Oh, wow. Looking like Bane from Batman walking around with that wow. thing. Yeah. 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 But it, it's a life changer. It is a life changer. It's amazing when you actually sleep. You know. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yep. That's that's a wonderful thing. It is a wonderful sleep thing. center of And now Consuela gets some sleep too. And, and Consuela gets some sleep. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People wonder why we live out here in the holler, it's because we can't have neighbors. <laughs> well, that goes without saying. <laughs> Too much noise. Too much noise. Uh, R.T. Johnson's 
single number 88 it is bouncing good job rt yes it is rocking up it. the charts hauling up there man that's a that was a big old move last week big move big move should it should show up on, on the actual chart this week coming up we're open um, a lot of great, great radio stations out there that we just love that, you know, cheering for the indie and Jennifer Blair, Jennifer Blair promotions. Yeah. Working it hard for she old, is, old CCB Nashville. She is we should, awesome. Uh, we should probably get a list of the stations that are spinning it on our website. Yes, correctly. I've, you, you are, you are, you are correct, sir. I know we should, but I <laughs> will is not the matter. I know, I know. <laughs> I did. I we did. We did do the big thank you after Angela's last run, where we listed everybody that played him. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I do think Captain Jack is is on is on RTS. Didn't he used to have the? Uh, was it Renegade Radio? I think it was Renegade. I don't even. I don't know. I don't remember. You, you went and did that with us, Blaylock. Probably. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but he. I think he's got Jer- Jersey Country now. I think he actually. Left town, but yeah. Captain Jack. I think it's the same guy. How many Captain Jacks do we have? There's a few of them around. There's a few, uh, is it there? <laughs> Captain Jack Morgan. I know, I've had, yeah, I've had more than my fair share of Captain Jacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So, uh, yep. yeah, we're excited it? for ORT. Doing good. The song's pretty good. We'll have a commercial for it. You'll see it if you haven't heard it yet. But if you haven't heard it yet, you just ain't been watching. If you heard right? that song yet, it's, we know you've been watching our show. It's everywhere. What is the song? Since we're talking about it. Your love won't let me cheat on you. There you go. Good old country heartbreaker. Good old country. I know Playlock, man. He's he's working it today. He's on it. <laughs> No, he just didn't know. I'm, oh. My brain is still in work mode. You know? yeah, he just go, 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 yeah. go. Right, 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 yeah. Wave, wave upon wave. I do like your new uh, uniforms there at work, though. Do you? Yeah. Is, is that the... It's the anti-COVID wear. It's the post, post-COVID. COVID gets a look at that and goes, ah! I ain't scared. I ain't scared of COVID. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's the flesh-eating bacteria he's worried about. Galazuela right. bottle. Yeah, bed bugs. Bed bugs terrify me. Bed bugs. COVID, I don't care. <laughs> bed bugs. Oh, man. <laughs> this break, huh? This is a good time for a break. Oh, uh, are we doing yes, some motorsports this week? or? Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Motorsports Minute. That's right. Speaking of motorsports we Minute. We need that song. We'll talk about it a little bit later, for sure. Oh, yeah, let's, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and roll that intro. Driving it home, taking the flag. We had that whole special edition motorsports man last time. Last time. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was a good time. <laughs> hey, Donnie, how you doing? Hey. You're right there, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to, th- to think of, oh, I think uh, they had the Roval this weekend. Right. Yep. Yep. Old Chase And it Elliott. was wet, Chase. wet and wild. Wet and wild. Chase Elliott wins again the f- fourth in a row. Man, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's got it down. Fourth road, I guess. Fourth fourth road course in a row. Damn. He did have the best uh, victory burnout. Was that last year? Was that the Roval last year or when he? No, he stood up with his steering wheel. No, no. When when he when he did the are you entertained? You, you remember he made the big smoke. Oh, that's he right. Got out of that's the car right. and backed yeah. out of that. That yeah. was awesome. Uh, so I gotta it, find it was, that. I gotta was, find uh, that. That was pretty awesome. That had to be one of the best. It was, it was Kyle that got out with the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. Stood yeah. on top of the car. That was downtown. Right. Yeah. That was downtown. I'm, yeah, I, I'm yeah, sorry. Cool. I forgot. Well, let's say about the black for a little bit and get Eddie K in get here. Get Eddie in here. All right. It's probably a better conversation that yeah. way. <laughs> Jim, we'll see you I a little bit. I can't take my Dad, eyes off of you. Poke me when you need me to wake up. Okay, buddy. <laughs> 
Back with Andy K. So listen to your heart, girl, and not somebody's lies. You know me better than that, baby. After all that we've been through, I can't be anything but fair. Monty, would hey, you look at that? That's yeah, Andy K. That's Andy K over there. Look at that dude. Hey guys, what's going on, Brother, man? We are woefully unprepared for a guest of your caliber. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Woefully. You know, I, I, you guys must be short uh, a couple uh, crop dusters <laughs> or something to, to, to ring me. But you, you know, I'm, it's always a pleasure to talk music and see friends. So couple let's not do any of that tonight. What I should yeah. say. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm gonna go brief, briefly down your your stuff here. This was a founding member of the great group Ricochet, Daddy's Money, all that stuff. My favorite song. We were gonna talk to you about that. What do I know? Your first single. You, uh, it was all downhill man. after that, as far as we're concerned, brother. Because <laughs> that was the one. That was the song. I love that song, and I'll tell you a little story about that too. As Please we, do. As we go. So. Please do. Yeah. <laughs> he he's also now you know Eddie Montgomery and the boys he's he's oh yeah he's he's in he's in charge of that over there hand, handling things I mean he's wearing about five hats over there now we did that we did a couple shows with Alabama uh-huh. and them and I mean Eddie was just a flash the whole oh, time there, there's <laughs> one of them yeah. 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 yeah you gotta have the hats gotta man. have a couple hats <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a couple hats. Um, now, business? Oh, yeah. but he really achieved his pinnacle because he wrote two songs, two Cash Creek songs. He did, yeah. yeah. He he wrote uh, "Talking Dirty," which our fans love. We do that every oh, show. Oh, yeah. With Thomas, do you yeah. still do it? Really? Oh, absolutely, man. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 the show opener basically. Every and, time, good news, <laughs> man. Yeah, and um, also. Um, Driving it home, the theme to our Motorsports Minute on That's this right. show. That's right. That's right. Driving it home. That's him. That's him right there. He wrote that one. You know. Oh, you got <laughs> never back. And, and then, wow, you're, you're. Go ahead. And then you know some little number one hit for George Strait. You know, just one little. Yeah, dude, yeah. you're dig- you're digging back into the mono demos <laughs> now, man. You're going way back. <laughs> you're going back to you're going back to cassette tape, man. <laughs> well, it, Eddie, we're just honored to have you on, buddy. Hey, it's my pleasure to just be honored. surrounded by wonderful people, and you know we're the we're the product of the company we keep, and we uh we sure have kept each other company all the years. We've been through a hell of a lot together and separately, and families yeah. and kids and songs and bands and. Boy, broken yeah. buses and broken hearts and the whole deal. So it's good to be good to be broken here. buses and broken hearts. Hey, I think there's a song in there. Uh, well, you see there, that he's always writing, always there's, writing, always if, writing. If there's not, there's hey, there's three of us. We, can <laughs> we got it. Out. We're on it. So um, hey, tell tell us the story about what what you were going to say there about that. What do I know? I love that song. Yes, man. You know, back when um, back when I joined the guys in Ricochet, they had. They had four of the uh, permanent members. It was Heath, Junior, our fiddle player, Jeff, our drummer. And uh, actually, no, it was just those three, three guys. And they started piecing the band together after that. They wanted to go for a, a label deal, and they were looking for guys who would be crazy enough to say, yeah, I'll come, I'll come <laughs> play country five, five nights a week, 50 weeks a year for 400 bucks. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> so I, I joined the band in, in October of 93, and then Greg, our bass player, came on, and uh, Teddy came on right after 94. And man, we just back then. Remember the days when you could play clubs five nights a week, and you could you really could work fifty weeks a year. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it yeah, was, yeah. We did. Yeah, that. it was. That's that's why um, all of us that grew up during those years, we we just really had a chance to develop 
our, our chops and our, 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 our road skills and just the harmonies and all that stuff because we were simply playing so much. And at that point, um, we did a showcase for uh, Ron Chancey, who uh, got George Strait his deal in town and was responsible for the Oak Ridge Boys and just a great all-around music guy. He came out and heard us, and he, he liked what he heard so much. He, he went into a management partnership with uh, Steve Callis, who uh, our home base was in Columbia, Missouri. Anyway, we, we got – we got them to come out to showcase. Then we got Blake Chancey to come out from Sony and, and Blake loved what he saw. And then they gave us a developmental deal and you know, we got pitched all these songs and there was one in particular, it was a female demo. It was a song called, what do I know? And I remember hearing that the first time and going, wow, that sounds like, I mean, that really sounds like a, a hit song. Yeah. Holy cow. Right. And we went in and we, we, you know, we, we cut that as part of our three song development deal and that was one of the things that got us signed and of course uh, we were lucky all three of those those songs made the final album and That's i just cool. remember it was it was written by three uh three wonderful girls um sunny russ uh she's had a couple Jesse. yeah <laughs> uh, and, and, and gosh then it's been so long that was so so many beers ago um <laughs> i'll remember it before we're done but great song uh female demo so you had to hear through that but we uh, we were a bunch of you know guys, so sure. but we went in and cut it in that wonderful key of E flat. It's great on uh, mandolin and fiddle, open strings, and we just uh, we just uh, loved it. It was really cool, and and you know <laughs> all the club the bands that, did it in D, though. You know that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, dude, so did I. I just learned, I learned what, what a twelve dollar capo could do. That that made it magic for me. I played everything in D. Just you know, yeah. moved it up. That let you go And now What do I do Thought I could live Without you But what do I know Speaking of, was, that, speak, uh, speaking of everything Eddie does play everything too and, and, But nothing But you know nothing well dude It's just I just <laughs> I can I can fill in uh, You got a tuba I'll jump up on there man Give it to me <laughs> Give me a tuba <laughs> Oh man! Hey, nice shirt, by the way. Yeah, you know, it's a great company. I, uh, I it is a great company. I, I like, you know, what I like about Sweetwater is when you call people on the other end of the phone, they're interested. They know who you are because you, you have a relationship. They're interested in what you're doing, and they want to get you into the gear that makes sense. So, if right. you're looking to get, buy gear, at least give Sweetwater a call and have them talk you through um, any of your purchases. It's a great That's place for. Hashtag musicians to buy. Hashtag yeah. Sweetwater right there. Hashtag, hashtag Sweetwater. Sweetwater. Yeah. Hashtag all my money. <laughs> I know. Have <laughs> Have you been there to 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 the place yet? Man, I have not, but I heard that's a destination. Man, it is so. Have you been? Yes. What a great company, too. I mean, and and every employee there, they would die for that company. I mean, they've they've they, they've got like a full. They've got a doctor there. I mean, if you're sick, wow. you go there, and they've got like a, you know, the, this food court and for lunch you know you're out there hey hey who are those guys with that acoustic guitar there that's tommy shaw and jy from sticks they're gonna wow, play for us while on. we're eating lunch i mean it's like i mean that? it's it's that kind of deal you, you know and and just a just just a great brick and mortar place too you know that but i mean if if you get a chance you you need to go by there Tell them who you are. They'll give you the that nickel tour too, man. It's hey, I might get another T-shirt. You just you know? might. You might. <laughs> yeah. Get me, you get might. me into a comfortable extra large. You this tight, starting to squeeze the the, the blood out of me arms. <laughs> You're Good an extra mess. large, man. I think I think last time I wore extra large was sixth grade. I'm not sure. <laughs> We're all extra large oh, yeah, after buddy. COVID. I'm, I'm oh. pushing the quad X, brother. <laughs> Just that's call what, me quad. That's why quad. none of us shoot interviews standing up and we're always behind a desk sitting down because this is this is presentable. This is the musician part. Every, everything else is just road, road hard. Oh, road, road hard. Right. <laughs> hey, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna sell something here, and we're coming yeah. back with more of the fabulous dynamic Eddie K. Eddie K. Woo! Oh, wish I could turn you off just like a with a memory that don't look bad, but you keep playing like a worn out melody. Sometimes your static running through my brain is just enough to drive me insane. Baby, what can you be? Just another song to me.
Hey. We're back. We're back. Eddie K. Eddie K. Yeah, right. Look at that. Look at that dude. There he is. Get that shit out of the way, What's man. What is that? What do you got? It's a wire. What do you got oh, there? Weird. All right, it's gone. It's a loose mouse. It is a loose mouse. mouse. Yeah. So, um, Eddie K, tell us about All Night Love All Night. Man, that's it. That was one. Uh, that was, you, you know, it's, it's, that's one. Uh, that's the song that has kept me from. Um, having any type of real commercial success on the radio as a writer. I mean, I, I had that. Yeah, that's a, that is that is a medley of my greatest hit. The other one were the other one were um, one, oh, you know the other songs were uh, were not commercial hits, but they were they were uh, they were they were widely critiqued. What? No, uh, they were widely banned. Um, no, I, I actually got back back when Ricochet had the record deal back in uh, you know 95, 95, 96, um, Once we came out with that album and it, it did well, a lot of the writers in town obviously wanted to write with the guys, the artists. So right. I made myself uh, absolutely available to write with the Bob DePiros and and uh, all all the guys that right. were, were doing the stuff back then. And I had a opportunity to set up a co write with Roger Cook. Um, I'd like to teach the world to sing. You know, he's Ooh. written, I mean, he's written, you know, mega, mega yeah. anthems. So I, you know, I just got up, went to, went to town. Long story short, we, uh, I got there and, um, Earl Bud Lee happened to be there too. Earl Bud so Lee. All, Earl yeah. Bud shows up again. I didn't expect him. It was supposed to be me and Roger, but they had got this song started and Roger says, Hey, you want to bust in on it? Or do you want to come back and start fresh? I'm like, I'm here, man. I, you know, if you bring me in on it, let's go. So he had his mandolin, and uh, I'm not a mandolin, his uh, ukulele, and he starts <laughs> doing this thing. Well, I'm not yours, baby, you're not mine. We've got something. It sure is fine. And um, they got the verse in the uh, first first two verses done and get started in the chorus. Because I remember he got done with the chorus, and he says, well, where are we going to go? I said, well, let's think about it. Second chorus, he goes, I know, we'll repeat it. Like, oh no, no, really? So we repeated the chorus and then we got to the bridge part and he says, mate, go go sit at the piano and try to come up with a bridge. So I sat down and went up. Uh, we're in a key of E, so I went up. He said, play that again. So that turned into the that turned into the bridge. And then we all worked on of course the third verse together and then the weirdest thing happened, man. The guitar the solo happened. We repeated the bridge. Repeated the bridge. <laughs> it never happened. So I go home. I go home. We like it so much. Tape. Let's do it twice. Yeah, we got a cassette tape, and, and when Roger plays ukulele, right? Yeah. When it comes time for a, a lead, he does. He'll be playing, and then he goes, "Okay, and the solo's right here," and he does this with his tongue. <laughs> so I brought home this cassette, and I played it for my wife, and I'm like. Yeah, I don't know about what we wrote, but it's just the word "night" just hammered like thirty times, and we got it's it's got two bridges, and I don't know. And I was I was so I was so overspent at that time because back then you, we 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 demoed almost everything we wrote. Right. I had racked up so many bills, um, and we by no means were rolling in the money at that point. The band, so County Q I, was though. County Q was, yeah. <laughs> County Q's got the first two college educations of my kids. I know. <laughs> Absolutely. But I loved every minute there. So anyway, uh, the song went on to be, uh, uh, you know, George Strait. I, I couldn't, those those days were just magic because yeah. to, to move to town from a small, you know, just to have a dream to come to town and do something in Nashville, from having that dream and having the balls to get in the van and just move. Yeah. And that's what we did. We moved. We knew one person. And, and then to, to, you know, turn on the radio and hear George Strait sing your song, Dude, that's that. Shoot, I that is not going to happen to me again. Yeah. Uh, it happened once, but I am so blessed yeah. that I got to reach out and do something that I dreamed of, and I got to see some of it come true. My biggest dreams came true. Right. You know, the number right. number one is a writer, number one is an artist, and yeah. that was you know yeah, that man. was it as far as that. Everything else has just been solid. Working on a bus, being in a band, mm. showing up, being early, being in tune, knowing your stuff, being a good hang. And doing the musician part, but I tell you, just to have the magic of knowing what that feels like is just, it's just incredible. So uh, just blessed beyond measure, yeah. And of all the artists to cut it, I mean, you know, George, George Strait. George Strait. I mean, yeah. you, you can't even, 
Yeah. No, no way to describe what that felt like, but it's very, very, very cool. Obviously. I'll tell you though, could not have happened to a sweeter soul, you know. Wow, oh, dude, yeah. man, I well, maybe bang, one or thanks, two more. Emo. Maybe Jason oh. Roller's a little sweeter than you, but it, dude, you, I, you, I, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's dude, the I, truth. I, I, you know, I, I, I like to, uh, I like to think of my friends often in this in this business. And Kimo, I've known you for years, and your smile and your heart and your musical ability and your friendship and how people respect and talk about you when you're not around is mind blowing because you're just, you've got that reputation in town as being just, just this unbelievably talented straight shooter. who was just okay. won't do it and get the stuff done. And you're killing yeah. me, man. And then, and, <laughs> Stop. Oh yeah. And, Y'all want to get a room? And, and, and I think I need to leave. I know. It's a love fest. I'm getting, un, I'm getting uncomfortable then, over here. And then to, and then to be, you know, share a stage with you and watch you, watch you play those songs with Alabama. I mean, come on, man. You know, it's just, you talk about what a, you know, what a cool life, man. Just, we've been really blessed and lucky. Without, with, yeah. without question. I, I mean, the, yeah. The, Thank God. Thank the, God for all that. Absolutely. The yeah. blessings have, mm-hmm. have rained down. For sure. Hey, let's let's talk a little bit uh, about some of that stuff when we come back from you know. Yeah, we've got artists to sell here, buddy. We got. Let's do it. <laughs> I know, I know. Let's do it. Back with more let's of Andy Kilgallen. Get out the door. <laughs> What are we talking about, buddy? Woo-hoo! The we Cash have... Creek. Wow, I get to put my glasses on for that. You see that? Wow. It's a thing of beauty. Back with the maestro, maestro. Woo-hoo. Okay, so um, we got uh, one of the coolest things I think on the Alabama tour. I think it was either 2018 or 19 was when um, Eddie came out and did that first show with us and you guys yeah. after Troy's death. And um, wow, what Two a balls. Yes, yes, and it in was January, yeah, eighteen. And oh, I, yeah, I remember, I remember well. you guys walking around, and it was such a, it was such a, you know, we didn't really know how to be, you know, we were happy to yeah. see each other, and it was so strange. And I remember, you know, Eddie seeing that it's the first time in however many years, you know, he looked to that wasn't there, but I mean, tell me about your experience on that whole thing, and um, I mean, I, I know it's, it's, you know, this is a. Serious moment for us. We usually don't do this, but this is this is great stuff because you, you know why T. Roy de, he deserves this. He deserves yeah. to be memorialized this way. But let us know, buddy. You know, T. Roy was so much to so many people. And he, he meant. I mean, he's one of, one of my best friends. I, I got the I got the pleasure of he actually saved me. I got the pleasure of being able to ride with him on his bus for like the last six years. Ooh. I was on the band bus. Then the band bus got shrunk to, as, as things do, he got shrunk down to band and crew. So there were a lot of people on the bus. So I lived down uh, south of town like him. And he says, Eddie K., why don't you, maybe you could ride on my bus and, uh, you know, spread out a little bit. So, oh my gosh, I got to ride with T. And, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and just, to, just to get to really know him as a person and as a, a lover of God and a father and a wonderful husband. And we got a chance to really 
dive deep into life and not just the music, but life, raising daughters and what, what the meaning of life was. And he was a unbelievably faithful guy. And I got to, I got to see his, his, uh, his faith grow. And that was probably the best gift he gave me. I got to, I got to watch him grow because those years were when his growth just it went like this right. and his heart went like this and everybody around him sensed that there was something going on. And it was, it was God, it was Jesus. It was his love yeah. growing and he spread that. And, um, it's, it was just beyond, you know, describable what, what everybody went through that at that time. And we, uh, I know that, um, getting back out on the road with Eddie and getting the band family back together was, was something we had, we had to do. That was, we had to do it. We just, man, you just don't know how the hell to do it. You don't, because you don't open up the playbook and say, okay, how do you do this? You have to just take every day and you have to just figure it out and you have to cry and you have to just weep and you have to get up and you have to bang walls and you have to hate and then you have to love and you have to cry again and then finally, man, it came to that that night with you guys in in uh, I think it was Sioux Falls in January of eighteen when we yeah. walked on stage the first time without T Roy. Yeah, and we walked up and when the show started, we walked up and put his white guitar in the spotlight in the front of the stage, and I whispered down and I said, "They're here for you, brother." Yeah, and I know he was there for us, and I know that this was what he wants us to do, but nobody left us directions as to how to do it. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. What helped was the love from from everybody on the road and the fans and our families and we got we, when families have hard things to get through and things that seem insurmountable and un, un, unbelievable to overcome you you tend to go to your family to find strength and to find love and, and hope and that's what we did as as in our families at home but as our road families the brother, brotherhood yeah we we held each other up and we we uh we encouraged each other and we said this is what T Roy would want he'd want all this work to keep going because he gave his life to this yep. so let's keep it going and by the grace of god and i think uh our angel T Roy um we were we were able to go out and make that music again and the fans understood what we were doing and they supported it and they uh it was it was just it was just a way to still be with him and still feel him. Um, I, I still feel like he's not in my heart. I feel like he's not gone. He's just not here. Right. You right. know, it's weird because every, you know, when you're on the road, everything becomes so familiar to you. Every, everything, every nuance, every person, every bunk, every pick, every guitar string, every piece of gear. And when you do this for so long, you look on stage and one guy's gone. And then you turn around and you, you see the set list from three months ago still taped to the road case where he yeah. always kept his, you know, it's like, yeah. wow, you yeah. know, this is where, you know, this is, this is still, he's still out here. Mm. You know, it's, I, I, you know, still have a cup of coffee with him. It feels like, yeah, I just, everything's so fresh, but the, the takeaway is, um, his love for people and for Angie and his, his, his daughters and his God was so intense that his spirit and who he was will never die. It only, it only strengthens in us because he was here and he was a magical, magical person, human being, and a, just a, a wonderful best friend, brother. The yeah. best, the best. Mm -hmm. Well, that was that that night too was so victorious because I mean, me and Jason, we stood in the back of the arena and we and we we watched almost you guys whole show as much as we as we could, and just mm -hmm. um, I mean we you know, could just feel, I mean, it, it was, it was a special night, you know, and you could yeah. really feel, feel his presence. Yeah. And, and those, and the people that were there, the fans, they knew something special was going on too. Yeah. You they know? were aware and, that it was. And, 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 um, your, your, your boy on base, uh, J Jason is, is, is that uh -huh. just, yeah. yeah, yeah. Jason. Boy, yeah. I mean, he, he stepped up there, St. Troy's parts and, and, uh, yeah. it was, it was, mm. Like like I said, I we felt like we were sharing in y'all's victory. You, you know, it was mm -hmm. like you know, this is exactly what he would have wanted, and and and, Absolutely. and 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 to see it unfold. I mean, it, it was awesome. It was awesome. You know, it it touched everybody in that room, and Eddie went out there and killed it. Ed, and Eddie Ooh, K, and Eddie K went out there and killed it. Oh man. <laughs> I, yeah. Who, who he was lets uh, lets us be who we are. Yeah. Um, it's just he's still he's still right here, right next to me. Yeah. Talk to him every day. Best friend. Man.
That's fantastic. Yeah, man. Let's take a break on that. I need a break. Yeah. 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 Brother T. We'll be back after this with more ADK. What are we talking about? CashCreekBand.com. Yeah, man. Spiffy new website. It's schlick. Thanks to our buddy Sean. You can get everything Cash Creek there. Let that be your starting point when you go exploring around the world of Cash Creek. Absolutely. You can even get to YouTube channel from that website right there. And you can catch up on all of our fabulous Cash Creek Club. That's right. Podcast webisode thingmadingies. That's Cash Creek Band. Band. Dot com. Dot com. That's right. See you there. Oh. Back with Andy. Uh, we're back More. around, yeah. That's good stuff, brother. Thank man. you for sharing that with us. You are welcome, man. man. Hey, um, You're welcome. let's talk about some space shuttle and ricochet stuff. What the heck is that? What? Hey, we, we did a show down in, uh, back in 1999. I'm a big space nut fan, so I remember reading USA Today when the, the first people were manning the space station. It was two Russian cosmonauts and American. And I remember they did a little interview, and I remember the blurb. They asked him how life was in space, and one of them said, the American guy said, well, that's great, but we're kind of running low on T-shirts. Well, I remember that stuff because I'm a space geek. And then, anyway, we met some, we met some friends from uh, um, Johnson Space Center came out to a show, and then we, uh, I grabbed three Ricochet T-shirts, and, and we autographed them to the, to the cosmonauts and the astronaut, and we gave them, handed them over and said, hey, if you, can, if you can find a way to get these to those guys when they return to Earth, let them know we were thinking about them. It's it's tough to be short on t-shirts that far away. So that and that was it. Two weeks later, man, I get this call from um, the director of NASA's um, uh, secretary, and she said um, he, he was very impressed with your gift to the uh, astronauts and cosmonauts, and he wants to invite you down to the next shuttle launch, uh, which is coming up. I think it was like the January. And he's uh, going to put the T-shirts on the shuttle and deliver them for you. Ain't wow. I'm like, no, okay, whatever. So anyway, we got to drive the tour bus down there to uh, Cape Canaveral and stand by that countdown clock and watch a spaceship take off. Wow. And it was the most, one of the most un- unbelievable things in my life was seeing that because I was, I'm a big space guy. I love it. And, you know, when it's going up, we're like, hey, man, we got T-shirts on that. Yeah. 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 So, now, I don't know if it's, a, you know, if it's an urban legend that the T-shirts are on there, but I, I believe them. So I'd like to think they are. So, But that was, that was fun. And, you know, we were talking about the things you get to do is, uh, and, and, you know, we're touring. There's things like that that, you know, it's a lot of sacrifice to go on the road. You, you leave the family and you're gone a lot. The uh, the cool thing is that we get to see the country, we get to we get to meet the people, and we do get the experiences that you just couldn't you couldn't really do them by yourself if you were just on your own because those buses bring us to places that probably life never would. Right, and right, where, right. Wherever you go, life is still happening for people there, and all they want to do is share it with you because yeah. you're in from out of town. And hey, you're doing a concert, well. Come here! You're not going to believe. You're not going to believe this fishing hole, or you're not going to believe this 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 beer brewery, or you're not going to believe this race car going around the, the you know the test track. Oh yeah, everything. It's it's incredible yeah. the stuff we've seen, yeah. and, and yeah. by gosh, we've had the best barbecue in the world <laughs> every day. Right. Every day. So right, this is right, the best. Right. This is the best. Well, yeah, and, so. and and it really is interesting in, in how you realize in traveling the country, like you know the huge regional differences that, that, Mm -hmm. you know, as far as culture and, and, you know, the, the way people grow up and stuff, but they're still, you know, people are people, man. People are people. And and, and there's, there is always a, you know, it's, it seems like, you know, we get to see the best of them, you know, and We, 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 we get to see a lot of the kindness and, and people are always so willing to, to just, you know, Say hey, this this is our town. This is something really cool at our town. Y'all ought to check this out. Or hey, jump in the back of my car here, and we'll run down there. You know, and it 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 really is is neat. You know, I mean, they're just a bunch of country folk everywhere you go. Yeah, everywhere you go, <laughs> and just 
it's good endearing folk out there. people. I mean, you yeah. know, everywhere you go, you can have a, everywhere you go, you meet wonderful people. Our our country, brother, you know this. Our country is filled with wonderful wonderful yeah. people. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know, we're just too busy. Yeah. You know, I, I don't speak. I just speak for all of us in general. The, the wonderful people that are do, that are raising families and working hard and trying to get ahead and just trying to be safe. There's so many people out there living that life. It's just really good to be able to go to all 50 states and realize that that's what that's what this place is comprised of. Right. People that just want to just want to live and want to live uh, their best life and. We get to be the purveyors of happiness everywhere we go. Think sure. about it. we get to go and plug in and play music and make people smile every day. Right. What a right. great what a great thing to be able oh, to do. You yeah. Know? Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you know, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I yeah. We, we get caught up in the grumble. Yeah. And the yeah. I remember blah, that. Blah, blah, blah. This 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 whole this has been a really weird time for all of us in our industry, yeah. and it's not just the guys that get to be on stage. It's it's everything about our business that makes our business work. Mm -hmm. And you, I think sometimes you don't realize what it takes to do what we do right. until we don't do it. Until it's just it. yeah. the enormity of what happened to sure. our niche of, and you know, it's it's uh, it left or, us all just going what. Right. And and we're being prevented from doing our jobs. It's it's not you know we don't have a choice. Right. You well, know, that's the prevented. hard part. Right. Because nobody likes to be told what to do, and <laughs> everybody wants to be able to at least try. But you that's, can't even go try to do yeah. something. It's hard. That's it's really hard, and that's the heart of the American spirit, right there too. You know, right. I'm American. Right. You know, yeah. And, and, yeah. And, mm. and so mm. this it, it really has been. Um, I will tell you what, though I I I really believe you know you you hope there's a sense of revival and patriotism in this country mm -hmm. about you know I know these these are turbulent times I don't think they're as bad as people try to make out I think you know I think the of course we we all know the 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 bright light of the media gaze is very focused and very tight mm -hmm. you know and very small. And there's a lot of folks out there, you know, that if we could just get in a room and have a beer or something, you know, we might find yeah, things yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. You know, if you're if you're wondering how you can help or what you can do, just walk outside your house, walk around your neighborhood and ask how your neighbors are doing. It's All just right. that simple. How's right. everybody, how's everybody doing around me? How how's doing? my family Show doing? A little can I help you with anything? Just yeah. just that'll make you feel that'll make you feel wonderful just sure. to be able to get out and help and, and see and we're all in kind of the same boat, but yeah, sure. it's, it's, well, we're, we're going to get, we're going to get through this. We you hear know? from our fans soon, the Cash Creek crew, well, our, our friends, right? It doesn't, isn't that what it says? We don't says? call them fans, we call them we friends. We don't call them fans, we call them friends, you know? And, uh, but I mean, how much they miss it, you, you know? I mean, oh, the, just man. A huge parts of their lives are going to these shows and, and, yeah. you know, you know, being out there and, you know, it's, it, it's just taken a big chunk, a, a lot of the, that, that, that salt, that flavor of, of life that, you know, a lot of people have are, are missing. Yeah. And we, Agreed. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we had to get together here this weekend and you could just feel it amongst the people being so happy to be, feel normal. It's like, here we are, yeah. you know, we're hanging out with the people we love. We're doing something. We're having a good time. Wow. You know, yeah. and you could just see it yeah. come on in them and say, "Wow, this is a blast. we're living so, again." Yeah, right. That's it's great. It'll, it'll be a, it'll be a really good reunion of of people and of places and of hearts when when we get to where we can start, even just to start feeling like things are inching yeah. back to yep. some kind of normal for for everybody in yes. in our world. Everybody in our world yes. deserves to be back. Um, doing what they uh, desire and doing and living living their best life because that's what God put us here for. He wants right, that man. for us. There so. you go, Amen, bro. There you go, yeah, man. Man, folks, that's Eddie K bringing the good word right there, man. Thank you, brother. We appreciate Love you, man. we appreciate you so much being on our silly little web of podcast we sure do, over man. here. Good stuff. Thank you. Yes. I, and next stuff. time I'm gonna I'm gonna bring juggle the chainsaws. I was ready. Yeah. Okay. okay but, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, that that that's where his true skill is. Vaudeville and um, you know he he get he does some burlesque. I've seen he, him I, do he, too. I bet he's got the look. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Oh, I've got burlesque down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I'll leave you. I'll leave you with this though. Of all the places I've been, this is the most recent. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful.
evil. Uh, come in like a <laughs> lion, yeah, go out like a lion. Yeah. <laughs> Any kill you have, folks. Yes. Well, how the hell are you, Cash Creek Club? <laughs> All those lucky people, lucky people get to hang out with you and Monty on a weekly basis. They do. Let's say that I, let's say that I wanted something along the lines of a, we'll call it, for lack of a better term, let's say I wanted a, a Cash Creek VIP experience. How, how would I, how would I come about doing well, such a thing? What you would do, you would go to CashCreekBand.com. Right. Hit on the cash shop tab, or the link down at the bottom of this video. Ah, so in other words, you've done made everything really easy hey, to oh become my, a VIP. Oh my member. gosh! Anybody can do it, Sean. Even you can. Even uh, now, if I can do it, if you can do it, you can do it. Gypsy approved. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cheers, <laughs> that was Eddie K. <laughs> we love Eddie. Eddie, man. But hey, while that was going on, our intrepid reporter James Blaylock. You know what? He never sleeps. He never He's sleeps. Always working. Always. He has uncovered. Uncovered the. A, yeah, he is uncovered. But he has uncovered <laughs> this big, big. That's why they always shoot me from the waist up. Breaking story. What do you got there, Blaylock? It's not a breaking story, but hey, the CDC says that 70% of people who caught COVID wore masks. Boof. So take that for what it is. Boof. You know what else? You know what else they found? Just take care of yourself, people. You take know what care else? Of Get this. 100% of people who caught COVID eat. Hey. <laughs> Now there's there's some scientific data right so there. So food, eating food causes COVID. Yes. Well, Take your mask off and stop eating. Take your mask to... off and stop eating. You'll be just fine. Our governor wants people to put their masks on in between bites. <laughs> oh man! Wow. Yeah. So now, if you wore a mask, you got COVID. That's, that's... Well, it's just saying that the mask is. Not as preventable mm. as people like to think it is. Sure. Yeah. And you know, well, in fact, most of your asymptomatic patients are probably wearing masks. Blaylock's on the front lines too. He knows. Yeah. So. Yes, but you do you. You know, if a uh, mask makes you feel good, wear a mask. If you don't want to wear a mask, you know, just be conscious of other people around it, you. It basically doesn't freaking matter at this point what you do. Halloween is every day. Because they keep changing the freaking rules because they don't know what they're doing either. Speaking of Halloween, we have a Halloween song coming out, guys. We do. We, we do. do. On the 16th. Yeah. You know what? And it it, it 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 makes you angry that you go into these stores now. They've already got Christmas stuff up. I know. They've forgotten Halloween. Enough Christmas. They don't even think about Thanksgiving Forget anymore. Thanksgiving. Well, they just this is the one year that I'd pretty much do Christmas and New Year's and get on with 2021. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. <clears throat> but, yes, you know? a, a wonderful song written by Nathan Anderton and our dearly departed C.J. Watson. Um, rest in peace, buddy. But they wrote a great song, great uh, scary song called Open Your Eyes that the kids will love. Nice. Of all ages. Yeah. It's a fun song. It is. It's a great tune. Yeah. Yeah. Our first ever Halloween Our release. first Halloween song. Yes. Yeah, yeah. we've done yeah. Christmas songs. This we is the first done, Halloween, yeah. though. No, that's that's singular, not, not plural. We've done Christmas song? We've done a Christmas song. Oh, that's right. We were supposed to do more, but that hasn't happened. I think we did cool. one. I think well, cool. but we, we did the tracks for, uh, for Jody's Grinch. That's right. That's right. But that technically wasn't us. Yeah. Well, well, I, yeah. I'll tell you, Corey Barker has ruined Christmas songs for me forever. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine Christmas why. Corey. Christmas Corey. Christmas Corey. Christmas <laughs> Corey. And his chestnuts all over the place. His chestnuts, his chestnuts <laughs> roasting everywhere. Uh, Decking uh, the halls with balls of jolly. Balls of yeah. jolly. <laughs> 
Plop, 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 but if you're plop, a recording plop, artist and plop. you're looking for Christmas music, That's you should it. definitely call Corey Lee right. Barker. If you want original Christmas music, <laughs> he has got a catalog. It's Christmas Corey <laughs> for all your Christmas needs. <laughs> yeah. He's. He really He's got is. a song for things you didn't even know you did. Right, right, yeah, yeah. You know, like, why are there holly berries at Christmas, you know? How does that? He's got the answer for you. There you go. He's, he's got something yeah, you don't want to hear. What's up, with the, <laughs> what's up with the coal? Yeah. yeah. He knows about the coal. Everything. Why does Santa choose to wear Fruit of the Loom? He knows that. He is the, the, the in, I'll tell the you though, in depth. I'm going to tell on Corey Christmas a little bit dude. here. Um, uh, there was a lovely female singer, Danica Port. She cut one of his Christmas songs, and it had to be one of the most it, double entendre. Every line, every single line could could. I mean, it was pushing. All, I mean, it was at least R rated without saying a nasty word. I uh, yeah. So what you're saying is you had to wait for her to leave the studio before you got up and left. (laughs) No, it was, it was, it was, I mean, and and I'm thinking, oh, hmm, you know. Exactly. (laughs) She sunk her teeth right into that thing and and sang the heck out of it. (laughs) And Corey is the sweetest dude. And you wonder, man, where does this stuff come from? He's got a dark side. Y'all got to check out his alter ego, too. Oh, yeah. (laughs) If you're online, look up Richard Noggin. Richard Noggin, <laughs> yeah, not for the faint, oh, no. not for the faint heart. Please, the faint don't, of heart. Don't tell people about yes. that. Yes, Christmas Corey Lee Barker, your man that provides Christmas is also the nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> I think he tried to bury that alter ego. I now. think so. Now he just opened it up to our you know, people too. Yeah, gonna absolutely. Be- very upset at Absolutely. us. Absolutely, you cannot run your past. Nope. The you worst cannot. part about the worst part about that is is Corey's going to have to do one of our Cash Creek Live song uh, sets as Richard Noggin. That's now. right. That's right. That's it. Oh my gosh, it's good for him yeah. though. It is. He fist bumped me the other night instead of giving me a bro hug, and it just irked me to all. <laughs> so you deserve it. Did, did it hurt because it was a fist bump to the nose or? <laughs> No, it just hurt me in the heart. It hurt you. No, he fist hurt me bu- in the heart. He fist bumped your heart. What? Ooh, come wow. on, man. Well, you know you're just rife with COVID. I know, man. I know, I know. Head to toe, it's all over you. Anyway, actually, it's to- that's COVID. One is COVID. Here we go, a barreling <laughs> into number fifty. <laughs> It's, it, it's all about the love, Corey. It's all about the love. You know it. Before we leave, November 20th, guys, the big, huge extravaganza. Yes. It's going to be a blast. We can say it now. Mercy Shine and the Cast Creek Club live on the road. Come hey, hey, Grammy nominated Mercy Shine. Oh, I don't know if it's nominated yet. They're in no. the running. They're, they're, they're on in the, the running. Okay. They're on the Grammy ballot. running. They got the Josie. They, they did win the Josie a couple years ago. There That's you go. Right. Josie award winning. That's right. The Josie yep. Award winning Mercy Shine. Yep, yep. And their new project is right around the corner. And we've we've got some word about that later on down the line. But right now, Mercy Shine co headlining with the Cash Creek Club live on tour. Featuring Larry Stewart. Yes. From Restless Heart. Yes. That's gonna be awesome. Jackson Forrest. Yep. That the we we heard it this mentioned the other night as gig the country Harry Styles the country Harry Styles that's what they're calling him wooey calling who that Jackson, Jackson Forrest is that because of his man bun yes probably I yeah. don't know I think oh, it's man. or it could be the luscious hair just that boy it, just needs to get a haircut it is pretty luscious it is pretty luscious he needs to yeah. be the country gomer pile <laughs> The golly! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack. don't forget opening the entire show is is the awesome Cliff Waddell. Cliff Waddell. Yep. We're also maybe have a couple, few more of them CCB folks sneak up. I hope so. I also heard there might be a bass singer there too. Yeah. Well, that'd be all right with us. That'd be all right I'm with just, us. I'm just is happy. There, we're is playing. there a red beard showing up anytime? Awesome. Could be a red beard. Could be mm. a, yes. Well, so that's be a great venue. November twentieth at the Hop Springs Brewery. Right. Yep. Tell all your friends right all outside of, of Murfreesboro. 
And then... The night after. The night after. Mayhem. You, you think you're going to sleep off the 20th. <laughs> nope. nope. Mayhem and I shoes. Am. Yeah. You're going to have the hair... The of hair the dog. of the pack of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> the hairy dog laying, Mayhem laying and in your shoes mouth. at the sidelines. That's it. That's in right. In Pleasant View. Saturday I can't night. believe they let you guys come back. Mass mayhem. What do you mean, Which you is, guys? You, you, you know, eat all their food. You're going to be part of it. <laughs> and November 6th also. You make a you, yeah. you make a god-awful racket, and then you leave. Well, yes. Just, that was just a you thing. <laughs> that's our tour. I mean, that's that that's our M.O., our credo. That why is, why is that should a be the name thing? of our next tour, a god-awful racket. A god-awful racket, <laughs> yeah. I think he thinks he's flying out that morning. Of the 21st. No, he's not. Yeah, huh? I know. He I'll be he there. Is. Yes. I'll be there. I'm committing. Yes. And all his Bayok glory. It'll be, a, it'll be a mayhem with Blaylock. That, Maybe now I'll that, sing a song, too. That's a rarity. That doesn't You're going to sing a song? Good. Maybe I'll sing a song. I think yes! you should. I think you should. <laughs> it should be demanded by every crew member. Yes. Uh, Don't let there's him your task. Away. Don't let him get away without singing. Jim has singing. to sing a song. When you invite this guy over for but dinner, you should definitely get away when I start singing. <laughs> <laughs> you want to clear a room? Oh. My wife said, "Amen to that." <laughs> well, wrap her up, boys. We gotta, we gotta go. Heading in number fifty. Holy cool. moly! Yeah, holy moly! Holy good, moly! Good to see y'all, crew. Keep rocking. We will see you soon. Yes. Tell all your friends about November 20th. Let's mm-hmm. pack that place. Yes. Hey, Let's do they, it. they can get tickets before, right? Tickets are on yeah. sale. Yes. Eventbrite.com. Yep. I think it's on it, sale. Go get them. I think it's under Mercy Sign slash Cash Creek, November 20th thing. Check our website cool. for more information. Yes. We'll have to get it up on the website. Yeah, do we have it our yeah. information <laughs> on the website? All right. Figure it out of here, boys. Grab it. <laughs> Hey. Well, I did the wrong one. Yeah, I was doing love in an elevator. You're in an elevator there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. for the boss man. Yeah. <laughs>